Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I'm Wayne McDonald. The word of the Lord came to me, Romans chapter 8, verse number 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus makes us free from the law of sin and death. There is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Condemnation is a sentence of Satan that says, because of what you have done, this is the prison you will stay in. If Jesus is your Lord and you have surrendered your heart to Jesus, there is therefore right now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. You say, well, I've sinned. I've made a mistake. Will you repent? You turn from that sin. You receive from the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. And that blood washes you and makes you clean. There is therefore now no condemnation, no, no sentence to those who are in Christ Jesus. Let me explain condemnation. Let's take a situation where somebody has stolen or they have they have done something very horrible and they come before the judge and the judge sentences them hammer comes down he says you're guilty I find you guilty and you're going to prison because of what you've done that's condemnation. That man is condemned. A sentence. Condemnation is a sentence. He's been sentenced. Look at it in the light of someone who has maybe murdered someone. And the judge brings down the gavel. And he says, you are guilty. You're found guilty. I sentence you to life in prison. They automatically, immediately put handcuffs on that man and take him away. Why? Because he's a dangerous individual. Because now, in his mind, what difference does it make if he kills more people? Because he's condemned. He's already been sentenced. Now, the way the enemy operates and works through condemnation, when we miss it, when we sin, he will constantly hit us condemnation and say because of what you've done this is the prison you will stay in so what difference does it make how many more times you sin or keep doing getting drunk smoking the reefer snorting the cocaine shooting up the heroin whatever it is that you have fallen into and the condemnation has come, and the enemy has sat with his rhetoric and fed you his rhetoric. You're no good. You're nothing. Look at you. You call yourself a child of God? There is therefore. Hear me. There is therefore now no condemnation. There's no more sentence on your life, meaning you're not damned to continue down that path and keep shooting the heroin, or keep getting drunk, or whatever it is that you're doing, you're not sentenced any longer. The blood breaks and destroys the chains of condemnation, and the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus makes us free from the law of sin and death. So what happens? You sin. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from how much? Some? Eh, just certain things? No. From all, all, hear me, from all unrighteousness. And he wraps us in his robe of righteousness and restores back to us <laughs> our authority, our dominion. You have dominion and authority. Stop allowing the enemy to condemn you and sentence you. If you've fallen into sin, you repent. 
You wage war against that sin. You receive the cleansing of the blood of Jesus and you go in the opposite direction and don't look back and go and do it again. There is freedom in Christ Jesus. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. The Father is saying, I want to wrap you in my robe of righteousness and wipe out from you a sin consciousness and give you dominion and authority even when you miss it. You repent. Receive the cleansing of the blood. Get back into right standing. Stop focusing on that area where you missed it. You are somebody in Christ Jesus. Blood has been shed for you. Jesus, over 2,000 years ago, 2,223 years ago, he was on the cross and he said these words, It is finished. And the veil in the temple was ripped wide open. And you and I can go into the presence of God not based on us, but based on the blood of Jesus and the finished work of the cross. My God, that's good news today. The Lord quickened that word to my spirit. That, that's for somebody. You're listening to this right now. and it's, it's breaking that condemnation off your life. You're not damned to keep going in that direction, that hellish direction that the enemy was taking you in. You are free to fulfill the destiny, the purposes, the plans, the things he's placed on your heart to do, go ahead and do it. Do it with joy. Do it with peace. Do it as a covenant man or woman, washed in blood with Almighty God. Well, thanks so much for listening. Have a blessed day.